That's pretty. You want to eat some carrot? I just want to taste it. You can roast carrots, you can stew carrots, you can make soups. Carrots are a staple to personal chef Pat Mulvey, but you may not recognize the carrots she's cooking for her kids and their friends. There's whites, there's yellows, there's different shades of orange, there's magentas, purples, blacks. Look at the inside. Ooh. Oh my gosh, that's weird. It's beautiful, it makes a really pretty salad. Choose your weapon, James. What color do you want to shred? Oh, that one. The rainbow of carrot colors is made possible by research happening right down the street from Pat at the UW-Madison lab of geneticist Philip Simon. A lot of people view purple and yellow carrots as brand new. In fact, they're the original colors of carrots. The orange is actually a rather late comer in the history of the carrot. Since the mid-1500s, Orange has become the color of carrots. When I began, orange carrots was the only carrots that was being grown. We did a lot of evaluation of carrots in the late 70s, early 80s. We discovered that, in fact, they could be better. So Simon set out to breed that better carrot, and he's devoted more than 30 years to improving this humble vegetable. Sometimes people tease us and say, well, what hypothesis are you testing in this science? And the hypothesis is that things could be better. <laughs> Carrots were and continue to be a major source of vitamin A in the U.S. diet. From my standpoint, that's an incentive for me to work on the crop. As a result of his work, the carrots we eat today have about 75% more beta carotene than they did 55 years ago. They're converted to vitamin A, and vitamin A is an essential nutrient in our diet. From his tiny basement lab, Simon is a big part of the USDA's success in getting Americans to do what parents have tried to do for years. People are eating more carrots. And carrots of different colors. In 1992, Simon's lab released the purple carrot. And then that was the first one released, and really the first purple carrot ever released since the 1600s, 1700s. Simon is developing more colorful carrots, and he wants people to know what they're missing by eating just one color of the rainbow. All the different colors have some nutritional qualities. Yellow carrots have a pigment called lutein. That helps fight some eye diseases. Red carrots contain lycopene, and that pigment has been associated with the suppression of some forms of cancer. Purple carrots have a collection of different purple pigments, anthocyanins. Which can help prevent stroke and heart disease. You know, eating the variety of carrots, not only is it really pretty, and that makes it, you know, more appealing to eat, but you're getting much more of a wide range of nutrients. Not only does he want the carrots to be healthy, Simon wants them to taste good, something he pays close attention to in his lab, where carrots go through detailed taste analysis. So what we're going to do is taste these two orange carrots. The major flavor notes we pay attention to for raw carrots are sweetness, and then the other one is what we call harshness. Which one is better? I think I like the first one better. I do too. Flavor is really more important to a consumer than nutritional content. We focused on that because we knew we could improve it. Here's the true test. This one is going to be the one that I think you like the best. It's got honey and cinnamon and raisins. Yeah, sweet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You'll find out that the purple and the yellow and the red, they all do taste like carrots. There's a slight difference in flavor. To my palate, the lighter the color, the less intense the flavor. The darker the color, the more intense the flavor. But it's subtle. Can I see? Ooh, it has like purple in it. Mm -hmm. This rainbow of super carrots is now starting to be grown and harvested on a small scale. I have found them at farmers markets. In a lot of ways, uh, these small-scale growers really are leading the way. They've got a, a very visually unique product that they can put on, on their table and draw customers in. My favorite way to use the multicolored carrots is raw, shredded, and in a salad. Oh, it's purple and orange. With a lot of the darker carrots, when you cut into it, there's striations of color. So that the outside might be black, but then it might have a ring of orange and a ring of white. And I mean, that's just cool looking. People eat with their eyes first. <laughs> when it's that pretty, 
that makes it more appealing to eat. When you come to developing new vegetable varieties, it isn't that obvious whether you're going to hit a home run or not. <laughs> Simon still has plenty of ideas to build a better carrot. There's a long, long ways to go because about a third of the U.S. population eats the three servings of vegetable day, a day that they should. And after working on it for more than three decades, it's more than science. It's become something of an art. Once in a while, we're, we're lucky, and we never quite know which ones we're going to win with. I think I like it. It's like uh, you know, putting out that album and hoping that people buy it. It really is. It's a performance art. Ha, ha, ha.